We're very happy to say uh, that immigration lawyer Melissa Chabin, uh, who works for the Chabin Immigration Law Office, joins us here in the studio. Welcome uh, to the Royal Record. Thank you. Thank you so much for having me. It's a pleasure. Thank you. So first of all, um, the royal family, of course, are going to have a very specific kind of visa that they have when they apply to go to the United States or a different country. Just explain what you think the visa Prince Harry is on. I think that the visa Prince Harry is on is something that none of us see. And for me, it is very uncommon and rare. But for the royal family, it is probably the most common visa that they think about. Think, do we need a visa to go to the United States? Yes, of course. Which one? Oh, it's the A1, of course. And what does the A1 visa kind of give you? What, what kind of visa is it? So there are a couple kinds of A1. Usually it's for an ambassador or perhaps someone working very high up in an embassy. But there is a special kind that is for the head of state or royal families. And that one, you do not need to be a working person in working for your country to um, to use it. So you can do whatever you want when you get to the United States. I don't know if you could be work eligible for any type of work, but you can not be representing your country when you go. And in terms of a security check on that, how does that differ to the everyday visa that most uh, normal citizens would get to enter the US? I think there's a focus on only three areas, terrorism, uh, contrary to foreign policy, and espionage. Just big, big on the big headline level of what those ineligibilities might be. But yes, everyone else has, has a look at whether you violated a controlled substance. Uh, statute. So what kind of questions do you think Prince Harry would have been asked related to drug use uh, on this immigration form? He may, they may have just put out feelers to get information to check what is going on from the UK ministry when the UK ministry said to the US foreign ministry, is this person qualified for an A1? So they may have asked him some of the normal questions. So normal questions would be, have you ever been arrested? Have you ever been convicted for a controlled substance violation? Have you, do you, are you a drug addict or are you a drug abuser? So the latter one is a diagnostic uh, diagnosis. So you would expect him to have said no to all three of them because we don't think that he has any brushes with law enforcement and we don't think that he has a diagnosis of drug abuse or drug addiction. So if Harry entered the country with an A1 head of state visa and let's say in the coming years he wanted to apply to be a US citizen, what would the process be then? Would he have to start from scratch? Yes, there's no path to being a US citizen using an A1 visa. It is a diplomat visa. You want to give someone the experience basically that they're not in the United States, even though they are physically in the United States. Mm -hmm. And we know that Prince Harry, uh, well, not him personally, but the Heritage Foundation, a think tank in Washington, D.C., is suing the Department of Homeland Security because they're not releasing Prince Harry's immigration records. At the moment, we're waiting to see what the judgment is going to be on that. How unprecedented would it be if uh, the judge orders the Biden administration to release Prince Harry's immigration records? It's quite unprecedented, I think, to release a person's records I think that there would have to be a serious public interest in it. And I don't think that this interest, it doesn't rise to the level of breaking the privacy 